right, so now we're at part two of the video. I'm actually done with this thing. I'm going to show you some of the features. Um, this is obviously where the four GPUs are going to be up here. I actually have M3 screws that are in the bottom, if you can see them, down there, glued in there. And then uh, also the back here, I can adjust the height of the card. So depending like if the you want to get them like a, you know even, you can adjust the back here, side view of it, and then I have a little power switch here in the back. So from here, I'm also going to put an SSD mount. So if you want to have an SSD, oh, it's going to be 50 millimeter right there coming up. Actually, if you look at my Thingiverse page, I already have an SSD mount. All right, they turned out pretty cool. So we'll see. I'm going to get the motherboard back in and get the GPUs, at least two mounted. I bought two more on eBay, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, there it is. Let me yeah. show you real fast. This is why I re this is why I made it adjustable at the bottom because PCI risers are different, and I wanted to keep this parallel with the top to make it look even. That's why this lower bar is adjustable. As you can see, the little slide rail right there, a slide right there. All right, all right, there it is with two cards. Get this thing fired up, and that's it. So I'm doing some testing my right now, and. Uh, yeah, this whole thing is pretty incredible. You know, I'm, I'm in my mid 40s, and when I grew up, we didn't have internet or cell phones. So to be able to do this in your garage with 3D printers is like science fiction. All right, cool. So if you want this thing, it'll be down below um, my Thingiverse page. Link below. Yeah, I can actually hold four, so two more uh, if you have the right power supply connections. But all right, cool. Had fun. All right, awesome.